In West Texas, it feels like you're miles away from everywhere and everything. Here, the Guadalupe Mountains end and the Permian Basin begins. Underneath this great expanse of empty flatness, ancient geology created America's most productive oil and natural gas fields. Ironically, the basin is now home to a solar startup, aiming to turn the industry on its head. That's what we do, we mine solar panels. If one person's trash is someone else's treasure, then Suvi Sharma has hit the mother load. Instead of making solar panels, Sharma's company takes them apart. When I see a solar panel, I just see a solar panel. But there's a lot of stuff inside of it, right? Yes, solar panels are, are made with uh, several materials that are very valuable, such as aluminum, silver, copper, glass. These materials we extract and can be extracted out of the panel and put back to make new products and new solar panels. Why do solar panels only last for about 20 years or so? Actually, solar panels can last for 30, 40 years, oftentimes. Uh, they don't always last that long, but they can last that long. But if you think about a solar panel as an electronic product, it's sitting outside in any weather condition. Snow, hail, wind, heat, you name it. You think about your cell phone, which is also an electronics product. Can you imagine leaving it outside for 10 years? Because of their limited lifespan, nearly all solar panels end up in the landfill. The International Renewable Energy Agency says the U.S. alone could produce up to 10 million tons of solar waste by 2050. As renewables take off, the amount of potential solar waste worldwide is staggering, 86 million tons by 2050. That's the weight of 15 great pyramids of Giza. And so we need to solve that by creating the recycling infrastructure to do so. The bigger problem that I see we have is a climate problem. And we need to solve that with more solar. But with more solar, we are going to have more uh, solar waste as, as we grow. Using new technology, SolarCycle aims to recycle a whopping 95% of each panel's high value content. This has never been done before. Nobody's ever tried this before. Production manager Jesus Espinoza yes, that is the correct pronunciation, keeps the wheels turning in this complex reverse manufacturing process. You're a decorated veteran and, and you went from nuclear to, to this. Why, why solar? I wanted to change. I wanted to do something different. I also wanted to make a difference. So I discovered SolarCycle, discovered that it was a unique, um, unique business. It's very special. During our brief morning visit, three loaded down semis rolled in with someone else's trash. Where do they come from? They're coming from all over the country. They come from rooftops, from large scale solar farms, from various places. Heck, I mean, even that aluminum could go into a soda can, you, you'll be drinking out of someday. Nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted, no sir. A new day, new sunshine, new possibilities. Yes sir, that's what we do. Now maybe the biggest question of all, what is your hope for, for the planet? My hope for the planet is that we as humans can get together and solve the climate change problem. Um, we're all in the same boat, just this planet, and it's our job to solve it. We've got a planet to save.